if you like if you like swords, you should copy Link or Cloud or the over one thousand characters in Fire Emblem. Eh, he doesn't need those swords. He's got his own. But um What am I saying? It's something about um Punch out. Oh yeah. Um, you guys are doing super punch out. Yeah, we're doing super punch out. Um, and I gotta say, I'm not trying to say this is the brag, and I know Brian's gonna be in the comment section saying, "Oh, what a humble brag," but I'm be honest, I'm surprised at how well I'm doing in that game right now because <laughs> I. Uh, I've won most of our matches for us, but I'm not saying that as like, oh, look how good I am. I'm just like... You're just saying that because like, you've won those matches. Well, I'm just saying it's because it's like, wow, I didn't know I was that good at it, actually, because I remember the last time I played it, I... The last time I played it, I sucked. But I, like, really well That's now. It's like Yoshi's Island. I didn't know it was that good at it. Well, you can kill everything with that. Why'd you get rid of it? I need other abilities to navigate this puzzle. Oh. Um, like that one. There you are. Get in my belly. But, um... I should say this, though, is that, um, after Kirby's adventure in Super Mario World and Legend of Zelda are done, uh, I'm gonna take a break from editing for a while, because, like, when you edit for so long and for so many years and yeah you, you get burnt out I guess and the other thing is that the constant your video has been removed due to this this and this or that and it's just like oh I'm just so sick of it already <laughs> um, and it's for the stupidest things like um, it happened to three of our videos that we I had. heard the story of the food. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Like the, the first one was understandable, and then that obviously got removed. The second one was because of some because of a brand that I can't talk about, and he told you how stupid it was, because it's a really, it's just a, it's a breakfast company who makes, they make, they just make food. It's dumb. And then the third one was really dumb. What? I heard the story from Spood. Yeah, I'm not gonna repeat them, but yeah, they were really dumb situations that they happened, and it's like I just I'm worried what could be the what could um what could be next? Yeah, because like I really don't know because like the first time it happened, it was kind of clear. The second, but the the when we got when we got removed because of mentioning. The, that specific brand, I was like, I wouldn't have even known that because of something happening. You wouldn't have known that because apparently that info just got revealed like right, like some few weeks after the editing. Yeah, and I didn't, I wouldn't even know that. And even if that's the case, it doesn't make any sense anyway because we're not talking about that. We're talking about the company itself, not what happened. And so. It just makes me nervous, like, if we say something that we don't know, and then just, oh, well, this is removed because of this, like, YouTube, how about going back to when you just didn't give a shit? Oh, that's blocked. You can't go through there. Yeah, YouTube kind of needs to stop uh, having such freaking thin skin. I get that there's some sensitive topics that shouldn't be talked about, but talking about some certain... It's... Talking it's, about certain brands or certain memes, memes just because they were affiliated... Talking about certain brands or memes because they were affiliated with some, some horrible event... At least warn the person first? I think... Well, the thing is that the videos they just get taken down. I've never had... Um, I never got any strikes on the channel or any, um, or anything like that from this. They've, I'll give them that, at least they did say that, they said this, like, you may not have been aware of this, so we just removed it, we didn't, uh, 
put any striker warning, and I'm just like, well, I guess at least they didn't give me a strike, and they're aware that I wouldn't have never known that that was a problem. And so now that I'm aware, I can realize what I can't say. But the thing is that it's just so weird. Like, this is the first time I've ever had this problem. I've never had these problems before until now. So when I first saw that, I was like, what? I think they should have, like, some sort of function in the editor itself. Yeah, so you can edit out or censor something. Like, an online function if you want to... Like, if you want to upload an audio file, like, maybe a, a sensor to block it out or something. Like, yeah, that'd be good. Um, the other thing I noticed uh, when it came to that that would be nice is what they do with... You know, like, when they give you a, a strike on your channel for, like, music... Not a strike, but, like, it'll come and say, this video has been blocked in these countries, or the company is claiming the ad revenue for this because of this song and this, like, five seconds, so they're gonna... This part is the reason why the video can't be played. And so they let you go in to that section and cut it out. They don't do that with vi things that violate their terms of service like that. They don't... And they don't really tell you the specific part of where the problem is. They kind of just, sometimes they do, but nine times out of ten, they usually just make you guess and try to figure it out. And that's the problem. Take all the guesswork out of it. Well, what's happening here? What? Basically, easy boss rush or hard boss rush. Well, you you destroyed it with the freaking rock move. Now I just gotta wait for him to move. Dang. Yep. Gotta have the hammer. <laughs> you know me too well. But um. Oh. Oh, yeah, rolling turtle. Always giving me a problem. And it's gone. And it's gone. <clears throat> oh. It's a nice little animation there. Funny enough, Rolling Turtle was actually replaced by a totally different boss in in the remake. <laughs> fan fan. Um, I hope they give you some kind of healing items. I don't believe they do. Oh. Well, time to yeet things. <laughs> or die trying. Oh, oh right. Oh, careful. Oh, no. Oh no. What? Oh, the pause. Oh, the snapback. Oh. Pausing at your end and snapping back to a previous moment on my end. Oh, it just saves you, brings you back to that boss. Oh, okay. Like, like I'm a few seconds ahead at some points, but then it just snaps me back to where you were. Oh, dang, he pounded you in the ground there. Also, I'm thinking of getting that, uh, that Steam, uh, thing, too. Uh, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about, right? Wait, explain that again? The, that Steam, the Steam Deck. Oh, the Steam Deck. Yeah, the portable Steam thing. I'm thinking of doing that, and the reason why is because, oh... Um, the reason why I'm doing that is because it'll make it a lot easier for me to play some of my PC games on the go and instead of... And, um, also, because it's a dedicated Steam, uh, system, it's obviously going to be able to run all the games that are on Steam. So, and it's going to be, you're not going to have to have your the power of your PC to run those games properly. So I'm thinking, like, well, this gives me an opportunity of now playing Resident Evil 8 without having to have a pretty powerful computer. 
because right now my computer can't run Resident Evil 8, and I don't have a PS5 and or an Xbox Series X, and I don't plan on getting them because it's, they're too expensive because of scalpers. So I thought, hey, now that this is here, I can actually play Resident Evil 8, and not only can I play it, I can play it on the go. Ooh. And Gmod on the go. Though, I feel like it's going to work with only games that use controllers. I don't think it's going to work with games that use a mouse. Huh. Though, they did, they are going to, they said they're going to have USB ports, so, like, if you have a game that does use a mouse and keyboard only, you can hook up, you know, a mouse and keyboard to the, to it. And it's going to support upgraded 4K, so... Yeah, it's... I am looking forward to it, actually. <laughs> Comes out in December this year, so... You know, I just find it funny that they released this the same, within the same, like, within a week when, of when Nintendo released their quote-unquote new Switch variant. And the OLED... Yeah, which is funny because this game is pretty much, the this, this Steam Deck is everything that people wanted the Switch Pro to be, the new, they wanted what they wanted it to be, and so, hey. Hi, Meta Knight. So, it makes me wonder, it's like, I feel like the new Switch is probably not gonna, it's gonna probably struggle to sell against this new the Steam machine. Now this is if the if it actually the Steam thing does well. Like if it has problems and issues, then no, it won't sell well. <coughs> but uh, I'll gladly give it a test, or at least see what people say. The other thing is uh, you can pre-order it right now, but Steam made one requirement. In order to pre-order it, you have to have had in order to pre-order it, you have to have an account, and you have to have had at least $5 in purchase purchases on Steam in order to be able to pre-order it. Anybody who huh. has it has to wait two days. And since they allow you to use your Steam account, and everything's uh, by the cloud, all the save data should still be uh, transmissible from your... Uh, for you, your other PCs. Interesting. I'm just wondering how it's going to work. I wonder if it's going to be like, um, <clears throat> kind of like what Nintendo does, where you're going to have like the Steam shots, uh, oh. If you're going to have like the Steam, like, store, like right at the bottom, like how they have the eShop, and then you have your games downloaded in uh, in that same sense of how they are in um, the Switch, but probably better organization. It says it's going to support micro SD micro SD cards, so I'm just gonna if I get it, I'm gonna get the one that's 64 gigs. Because in order to get, like, the 512 gig, you have to spend almost 700 bucks. And I'm like, I'm not spending $700 on extra memory. And when you can just get a micro SD card, put it in there and have, like, 500 gigs right there for, like, 80 bucks. So, that's probably what I'm going to do. I think I'm starting to get how ball works. Yeah, I'm... Oh, the ball the thing. Button. As you're as you're descending. Yeah. Shoot, I can play GTA Five on the go. Wow, you get some big air with that move. I'm, what I'm wondering though is if um, this is gonna have uh, crossplay. The Steam Deck. Yeah, where you'll be able to play with people that have games on the PC. I'm a, I'm, I would assume so. It's gonna be through Steam thing. So, 
if that's the case, that'll be a lot easier. I could just play. Hey, well, I don't have to worry about my freaking game or computer not running well. I could just be like, shoot, I'm gonna play it this way. And if I can stream, like if they allow Discord in some way, shoot, I stream from the Steam the Steam Deck. Huh, Discord compatibility. That'd be an interesting, interesting little take. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Xbox and PlayStation do, so... Which is why I've been considering streaming Uncharted 4. Get on it, Nintendo. Well, Uncharted 4 is coming to the PC, so... Which is very surprising. I feel like Nintendo's kind of the oddball of the bunch with that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I, I just... I don't understand why. It's like... It's because they want people to use their freaking app and the whatever thing. I but, used your app. There wasn't already alternatives out there. They want people to use the app for that. And it's stupid because I don't really... I think the only time I ever used it was for Animal Crossing. And it was because you can get custom like uh, textures put in Animal Crossing. That's why my entire... Um, uh, one of my entire rooms is Kako Demon. I can't say the word because apparently that's uh, against YouTube rules. Basically, Kako Demon doing a meme. Yeah, and then that's why um, I have uh, pictures of Sans, Banjo, and uh, Todd Howard in my bathroom. <laughs> I also have a picture of Cloud Sword on my wall, and then I have, I think I have another one, I forget, but that's how you get, um, uh, that's how you do, that's the only, that's the only time I've ever used the, uh, the Nintendo app was for the Animal Crossing game, that's about it. Just so that you can get custom designs in Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's also how I got the Doom Guy uh, hat and shirt. But, um, the, the shameful, the shame part about it is, um, I, <coughs> you know that you can download some of these, whoop, you can download some of the, uh, custom Miis and stages from Super Smash Brothers through their Smash World or whatever. The only problem with that is that when it comes to downloading them, I, I tried it, and they don't really have a proper, like... Oh, that looks really hard to do. I'll spoil it right now. That doesn't contain a Switch. Oh, okay. So it's not worth it. Unless um, you have Crappy Kirby. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna end this here, because, like... It's 36 minutes. Alright. So, I'll pick up that later.